Dave Jackson with Penn State Cooperative Extension. We're visiting with the foresters from Landvest and demonstrating a hack and squirt technique to control American beech. A discontinuous girdle. About 50% of the circumference is uh, treated with a hatchet chop and then a a cord concentrate mixed one to one in water is just a little bit as squirt into the into the chop marks. Personal protective equipment is of course essential and being familiar with the herbicide label is essential. Okay, we're going to do these ones over here. Mm -hmm. died from the beach bark disease it looks like. What is that? Of course it's the disease that's causing it to suck her so profusely. Just fill the cuts up. Don't need it running down the stem of the tree. And we'll move on to the next one here. Um, you don't have to treat, treat them at any particular height wherever it's convenient for you. It's safe for you to swing the hatchet. Remove any of the branches that are in your way so that you can swing easily. Look up there. Some of the bark pops off where you hit it, but that's all right. Just treat that whole area because all that is, is cambium that we want to get the herbicide onto. Dave, about how much volume of mixture are you going through on a tree? An ounce is it an ounce per tree? Five it's ounces? Probably not more than an ounce of solution. The mixture per tree. Per tree. Based on uh, what we did just yesterday, so. That ought to do it, and uh, you know the key on some of these is leaving that intact between the hack marks, so that we get translocation from the top using the phloem down into the root system. I think it's going to be the critical part that's going to move that that photosynthesate along with the herbicide into these root systems, and that's where we're going to be successful here with the translocation of the product, so. Great. We'll see. Great, thank you.